Well, hello and welcome to Bike Social. I'm Michael Mann and I'm reporting from the Ascari circuit in southern Spain, where at the end of March you expect it to be a little bit warmer than it is. It's blooming cold. Anyway, we're here, more importantly, to talk about this. It's Honda's new CB1000R for 2018. It's got that Neo Sports Cafe design, um, which means it's part of a three bike range, 125, 300, and this is 1,000. Uh, it uses the same 998cc four-cylinder motor um, that came out of the old bike, the, uh, the bike that was launched in 2008. Uh, and that is a 2006 Fireblade engine that's been slightly detuned. Now this engine has, has been upgraded for, for this year. Um, piston differences, uh, intake, um, exhaust differences, throttle body, uh, pistons and so on, just to make it uh, a bit more refined, a bit more new age, a bit more contemporary, a bit more Euro 4 um, worthy as well. And they've, what they've done is concentrated solely on that sort of 6,000 to 8,000 RPM range to give it a load of mid-range torque. Uh, red line's up at about 11,000, 11,500. That means peak power is 10,500, and the power is 143 brake horsepower. Um, 12,299 pounds for this. It's the plus model. Uh, there's a basic model, which is 1,000 pounds less. Now, the plus model comes with a quick shifter, both up and down, heated grips, importantly today and they're really good as well uh, the African twin um, with the heated grips not so good this one's five level uh, heated grips and uh, yes I've tested them this morning and they work perfectly um, and the other difference is it's got a radiated grille and a few alum brushed aluminium parts as well um, and that's the plus model like I said thousand pound more at 12299 it's available in dealerships from early May the bike has also got um, a raft of new bits as well. Uh, not only does it look fantastic, it's got things like the new uh, LCD screen, which is very, very small and narrow and really easy to see as well. Backlit, so it'll be fine at night. Um, and it's controlled by uh, an up and down switch and a, and a mode switch on the left-hand side of the handlebar, um, primarily to change the three rider modes. Uh, there's also a user mode, so there's three preset modes and then a user mode, which is you know, a, a completely bespoke version. Now what these three modes can do, this rain, standard and sport, and they change the parameters on the power from the engine, the engine braking and the traction control. Each of those have got three levels. Are you with me still? Uh, so yeah, so there's pre three presets and then there's a user version as well. It's only in the user version where you can turn traction control off. It resets it once you turn the ignition off and back on again. Now, what this bike is about is that sort of sports naked come cafe racer style. It's definitely more on the sports naked for me. Uh, it's not quite at the crazy levels of something like a MT10 SP, an Aprilia Tuono, an S1000R, um, at the sort of 150, 560 and above horsepower range. But equally, uh, if you look at some of the other competitors, perhaps there's Japanese, the Z1000 Kawasaki, the GSX S1000 from Suzuki, um, and it has a better, I would say, a better build quality and a better sort of finesse and character about that engine. Uh, as I said, that, that mid-range torque is, is just is beautiful. There's a lot of character from a four-cylinder engine, which is superb. Riding position uh, is nice and high, uh, with your feet way off the, off the ground. The pegs are nice and high, good ground clearance, because the uh, agility uh, of the bike is superb as well. Nice narrow handlebars. Um, the wheelbase is good for, for, for flicking it from side to side. You can, it's, it's really quite performance-based when it comes to things like that. Um, Bridgestone Backlax S21R tires are Omega. They do a really good job. Certainly on the 100 or so miles we've covered uh, already today on the press launch, uh, climbing up the mountains, the sort of vast sweeping bends, um, they've performed really, really well and I've been super impressed actually. So when I first saw this bike at the Milan show, uh, you look at the spec sheet, you look at the bike and you think, okay, cool, well, that's fine, you know, a CB1000, nice, easy, relaxed ride, um, it's not going to pull up any trees. But actually I was wrong, I don't mind admitting that because Today's ride this, uh, has been uh, quite an eye-opener. I'm really, really pleased to have ridden this, um, and I'd urge anyone to go and have a go on it. It's, it's, it's superb. Look, I'm going to have a full review for you at bikesocial.co.uk.